Welcome back to Obermatt Stock Investing. We've been investing the whole summer a total of 50,000 Swiss francs into stocks in the European market. Now it's fall and it's time to look back how we performed. Let's have a look at the portfolio. What you see here is what's left from the portfolio from the 50,000 francs. It's now worth 47,100 francs. There is also 300 francs in cash. So from the 50,000 francs, we've already lost 2,500. That of course is bad news. Of course it's bad news and everybody hates losses. I'm not any different. If I look at the performance of my stocks, you know, of course the first thing I see is I lost 29%, 29% on Sandvik, which I think is terrible. Um, and it may actually convince me I'm, I'm, I have to sell all this because I'm really a bad investor. I also lost 12% on a big pharmaceutical company. I lost 16% on Schneider Electric. You know, that's really terrible. I should have better done nothing. I would have had more money now. Is this the right way to react to your stock performance? No, it's not. And let's have a look at the press. An article in the New York Times was really inter interesting because it showed how emotion hurts stock returns. A very well-known behavioral scientist, a behavioral economist, and also occasional contributor to the New York Times said, when you have loss, inhale, exhale, repeat, then watch TV. ESPN is a TV station. Why is that a good idea? Well, he shows here that when you look at your stock performance, you're only going to make bad decisions. Actually, here it shows that when you look at your stock performance daily, I can make that bigger for you. Um, here it is, bigger for you. When you look at stock performance daily, half of all times you're going to see losses on your portfolio. If I look at it weekly or monthly, it's not much worse. But if you only look at it yearly, you know, um, the likelihood of seeing a loss is much smaller. So if you hate losses like I do, don't look at your portfolio. It's not a good idea. As a matter of fact, let's go back to the research. Research has found that it's not a good idea at all to look at your performance because it means you're going to make less. There was research that found that performance participants who you know, participated in a behavioral science experiment who got performance information once every five years earned more than twice as much as people who got monthly feedback. Why is that? Because whenever you see negative performance, you tend to sell the stock. Whenever you see positive performance, you tend to buy stocks. But that's exactly the wrong behavior. Whenever you see bad performance in your stocks, it means that the stocks are cheaper. You should actually buy more stocks. And whenever you see positive performance, it actually means that stocks got more expensive and you should hold back. So it's not a good idea to look at your performance. Much better to watch sports or do something else. And what I'm going to do, because the portfolio went out, I'm going down, I'm going to invest more in stocks. And in the next coming weeks, you will see what I buy. Goodbye.